PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the NZXT Havoc 120 CPU cooler. So this is a nice compact CPU cooler. As you can see here on the box, it says easy installation, so I certainly hope so. Four heat pipes that are 8 millimeters in thickness, 22 decibels on the uh, noise levels there, and uh, I really do want to see here some um, ease of installation, right? Many of you have been asking me what um, effort does it take to install one of these so I'm gonna focus on showing you how to install it uh, this manual that it comes with is both for AMD and Intel comes with a universal bracket so one bracket here for both types of CPUs supports all the latest uh, um, uh, LGA sockets and things like that so don't worry if you have an AM2 or AM3 socket it'll support it looking at the uh, contents of the box here the two 120 millimeter fans 13 blades on them looks very nice I gotta tell you um, you would just plug these into a splitter and then plug it into your motherboard obviously I do like the fact that they're only 22 decibels so um, you know when you try to overclock and the fan goes on it won't be loud so that's very nice okay and um, you just plug this into the splitter I'll show you that in a moment now the uh, tower design here of this heat sink you can see here there's the uh, knuckle plated copper heat pipes going through there in a u-shaped design okay so uh, not bad nice aerodynamic airflow going through there there's the whole kit as you can see the fans there are the splitter cables again like I mentioned so you can plug in two fans into one cable and then plug that uh, after you attach that in there to your motherboard comes with two different uh, cables in case you want to change the resistance I guess of the uh, of the fans and uh, also the required hardware for any type of CPU basically I like that it, they included thermal grease too now let's go through the installation here you can install the fans first or you can install the fans last it depends on how you're doing this with the motherboard outside the case inside the case so um, if you want to install the fans first you just attach these rubber pieces that they give you there so um, that way it fastens nice and tight against the uh, heat sink Make sure you have the airflow pointing through it properly. Okay, so usually it goes from right to left, blowing out the back of the case. And uh, if you're installing an AMD um, system here, then you got to take out this bracket. Okay, in my case, and take out the rear one as well. And then you'll be able to follow the instructions that it came with to install this onto the motherboard. Okay, so that uh, goes on the underside of the motherboard like that. And then on the top side of the motherboard where the screws stick out, you fasten these on there to um, keep them into place. The, the uh, installation itself, what I'm thinking about and reading through the instructions, is actually quite simple, easy to follow. Um, it's just time consuming, right? You just got to go through it. You got to put things together. It's like a little puzzle, um, but it's not complicated, right? It's, that's the main thing. It's not complicated. It's not hard. You're not, you don't have to stress yourself out. You just have to follow the instructions. and um, and everything you know worked out really nicely I mean it was pretty much effortless uh, I could probably install this in about 10 minutes okay the whole thing and once you've attached everything there that bracket then you can put in your CPU you can apply the thermal grease that uh, that it came with and uh, I made a separate video by the way on how to do that and um, and then attach the uh, cooler itself beautiful easy installation to be honest just you know take some time to do to go through the steps but um, you know here's the uh, two connectors for the fan like I said you just attach it to that uh, splitter I'll just go ahead quickly and do that and then after that you attach the other end of that splitter onto your motherboard and then you're all set so it definitely was easy there's some clearance there for your um, heat spreaders of the memory modules in case you're wondering about that so again nice compact design good looks easy to install quiet fans support for all the latest CPUs definitely recommend it if you're looking for something around fifty five dollars US and I'd like to thank NZXT for providing it and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching